Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. This is part 3 of my knife review, reviewing inexpensive D2 knives from Great Steel uh, from my sponsor Gearbest. If you have missed the first two episodes, in episode 1 I'm actually presenting these knives, in episode 2 I'm testing the heck out of them. <laughs> and now since some of them have suffered a bit, I'm going to show you how to sharpen them with inexpensive sharpening tools that you can buy on Gearbest too. So this is the R Charlens, also sold under CTS Smart D2 steel, which is usually a steel that's used for machines, for like steel cutting devices. Um, and um, we did cut aluminum and steel with it and a lot of people told me that there was actually a nick on the blade from the aluminum, but that was actually just only a shaving from the aluminum. Uh, later in the video you saw the blade again and it is pristine. But there is a tiny little nick from the steel nail here. Let me see if the camera focuses right. Um, so there is a little nick in it and it, that needs repair. But other than that, the knife really did well. For such a thin bladed knife, it's amazing that it was able to cut through a steel nail. But this one probably fared even better. There's a tiny little nick from the steel nail. But other than that, it's fine. Same goes for this model here. As you see, a tiny little nick, but nothing that would force me to completely re-grind the, uh, the, the edge. It just requires a little bit of sharpening. Same for this one. As you can see, there's a little bit of a blunt part here from the nail, but a few strokes on the whetstone will get rid of that. Well, this one here also suffered a little bit. And this one, which is legal in Germany to carry, um, because it's not locking, even though it's a one-hand opener, um, this one suffered the most. As you can see, the blade really suffered. Therefore, it will be necessary for this one to receive an entirely new edge. Unfortunately, the knife is sold out. But well, this beautiful R Charlens also suffered a little bit, but I already tested one of the uh, knife sharpeners on it and therefore right now there's no such problem anymore. So let us start by fixing this one, which only has this tiny little blunt spot here at the front. This one we can easily get rid of just using a whetstone. So let's see what Gearbest has to offer. So the first thing that I had them sending me over is this whetstone, which actually has a rougher and a finer side. And um, this is like ideal for the task. So what we simply do is we'll start by the rough side and then go and sharpen it a little bit. Okay, the other side. Right now we're going to use the finer side. And this knife is ready for rock and roll again. Now it is still a little, little bit coarse, so this is great for doing the bulk of the job. So this is an ideal whetstone, for example, if you want to sharpen a machete or something like that. But for a really fine blade, I would go one step further and use a finer whetstone to finish it off. And Gearbest has something for that purpose too. This little thing. <laughs> I don't actually know what kind of stone it is. It looks kind of pretty. Uh, like a, you know, semi-noble stone. But of course, this is a lot finer than the whetstone that we used in the beginning. And now the knife is beautifully sharp again. This one is a little bit more expensive. We're talking about 7 euros 35, about that. But I think it really is cool and also like that it's really small because you could take it into the field with you 
and it's not going to be bulky in your pocket and you need something to sharpen your tools every now and then. So I can really recommend this one. Now for those that are a little bit more lazy, um, Gearbest has this model here. And actually I like it because it's super easy to use. You actually have three different slots and this is for ceramics knives and this is the coarse and the fine one for regular steel blades. And it is super easy to operate. The only thing is that, of course, you can only use it for knives that don't need a completely new edge. So just for resharpening, this thing is quick and easy. So we're starting with this knife that really only needs a little bit of sharpening. It's not necessary to remove any serious nicks. The coarse one first. Okay, and now the fine one. Let's do the paper cutting test. Yeah, it's a pleasure to cut with a sharp knife like this one. <laughs> so what do we do with a knife like this one, where the edge is clearly beyond repair from a normal whetstone? So we have to completely regrind it and first we have to completely remove the nick. And we do this with the whetstone. And now I do something that actually pains me physically. Okay, we have now pretty much removed the nick. Gearbest gives you the Ruxin, or however it's pronounced, uh, Ruxin Pro. It's a knife sharpener that will always keep the same angle on grinding a knife. Let me show you its features. So as you see, it has this long arm and you can clamp a whetstone in between these two clamps here. And then you have this table that is adjustable, so you can also sharpen really wide kitchen knives. Uh, and um, then you have this setup here. Actually, as you see, uh, it turns. And you can adjust the angle of the uh, grinding just by removing this here and then moving the pin up and down. Of course, a very thin kitchen knife can have a much more flat angle compared to a solid like uh, hacking knife. And you have this support rod here so that it's not turning and you have this little socket here that no you can remove and at any time if you want this to clamp down you simply create like a vacuum and then it's very solid only thing is you need a smooth uh, and clean halfway clean surface for that and also you get the necessary parts like the whetstones you can you have one in 120 grit there's one in 320 grit then you have a 600 one and the finest one is actually a 1500 grit. You get a pen, it's very important, I'm going to show you later how to use it. And you get a little bit of cloth to clean off the knives during work. Now if you want to know if you're really doing it right, now you take the marker and you mark the entire edge here. so that you see if you're grinding right. First you adjust the table and you can do this by loosening the screw here and then you can shift this little distance holder up and down. And what you can then do is you put your knife blade on this as an alignment and you make sure that the blade is poking out a little bit over the edge of the table. And then you adjust the angle. And for this knife, I've been using like a medium angle. It's a little bit on the steeper side because I want a robust edge. Um, and of course, the flatter you go, the sharper your knife will be, but also the more vulnerable your edge is gonna be. So for pocket knives, I always use something that is a little bit on the more solid side, but still sharp enough to do a lot of uh, badass things. <laughs> okay, and then what you do is you take the coarse stone, the 120 stone and that you can easily clamp this in in between these holders here like that so it's all it takes 
And now what you do, let me turn this around a little bit. And now what you do is you put your knife against the holder like this and you start to grind. So, as you can see, the knife is now in a very good condition already. No more nicks and it is already sharp. But of course it's been ground by the uh, rather rough stone and now we're doing this with the finer stones until we have a polished mirror-like edge. All right, so the knife has its super sharp blade back. Let's see if it cuts. Sure does. <laughs> Amazingly sharp knife. It would be almost impossible to get an edge like that back with a nick that we had in it like this without a sharpener that is able to keep at an angle. And this one clearly does. And of course, an angle is also very important if you get to real cutting because it just makes it so much easier to carve things with it. Yeah. So the Ruxin Pro, what do I think about it? Well, for the money, I think it's a major steal. It's only 26 euros and 10, and you get a lot of stuff for that money. Um, are there better knife sharpeners in the world? Well, there might be different concepts. This one actually does the job quite good, and I like it. So I can recommend it. So, not only did these great D2 knives survive my brutal test, I probably the most brutal knife test on the entire internet, without major damage, it was also possible to use inexpensive sharpening equipment to bring them back to an unbelievable degree of sharpness. So therefore, I love them and I hope you do too, because that's it for today. Thanks and bye-bye.